going to get you started with some <coughs> direct proportion questions. So here is question one. Y is proportional to X. Okay, so we immediately take that proportionality sign and replace it by equals K. K is just some constant value. So Y is 30 when X is six. So 30 equals K times six. Okay, so we've taken that information, we've taken that information so far, and we've got to that um, formula. So actually in part A, we've done it. We can say that 30 equals six K. All right, and oh, we're almost done it. And we found K, K would be 30 divided by six, which is equal to five. So in part A, your answer is going to be, you're going to take this that you produce and you're going to replace the K by a five. You can say this is how K, um, X and Y are linked because Y is equal to five times X. Okay, and that works here. You can put the six back in and check it. Five times six equals 30. Okay, part B, find the value of Y when X equals eight. So if you know this relationship here, Y equals five X, find Y when X equals eight. All we have to do is put that in five times eight is 40. Okay, and it's the same idea, just the other way around in part C. So find the value of X when Y is seven. Y equals five X. This time Y is seven, is five X. So X would have to be seven divided by five. We take the five to the other side, seven over five or one and two fifths. Okay, or 1.4. That's part, that's question one done. We'll do one more on that, um, that type of question. Question three. Okay, so Y is proportional to X. I'm gonna write down same same idea, same process, Y is proportional to X. We replace uh, the proportionality sign with equals K, X. Okay, and then A, we're going to put in the values and find the value of, of K, okay? so. Um, y is 4.5, it tells us here, when x is equal to 9, so equals k times 9, so k is equal to 4.5 divided by 9, which equals, my calculator, 4.5 divided by 9 is 0 0.5, of course it is, yeah, <laughs> 0 0.5. Okay, so the actual formula we can now complete, which is y equals 0.5x, or y equals half x. Now we can use that to work out some questions. So find the value of y when x is 2.4. y is equal to 0 0.5 times 2.4, which equals 1.2. And c, find the value of x when y is 5. Well, this time, yeah, we're going to use the same thing. 0.5x, um, so y is 5, 5 is 0.5x, so x is 5 over 0.5, uh, which equals 10. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, so it's not too, not too difficult. Last one, you can mix it up slightly. Okay, now there's just that extra element here, which is y is proportional to the square of x. Okay, which means that we just go y proportional to the square of x, x squared. Okay, same thing again, we just replace the proportionality sign by equals k. All right, and you've got two values that can go in to help you in part A to find the value of k and complete this formula. Okay, so um, we know that when, um, y, when x is 4, y is 32. Put those values in. We know that 4 squared is 16, so k is 2, okay? So the formula that you're after in part A is going to be y equals 2x squared, okay? Now we're going to use that in part B, and we're going to find the value of y when x is 5. So y is 2 times 5 squared, y is 2 times 25, y is 50, and in part C, Okay, same thing again. Um, find the values of x. There's two values here. Note the question, read it carefully. 
of x when y is 1 to 8. So 1 to 8 equals 2x squared. Okay, if we divide both sides by 2, we get 64 equals x squared. You can see where this is going. x is the square root of 64, and there's two values of that. Values are plus minus 8. Okay, all right, hope that's nice and clear.